Are you thinking about buying a home in Aubrey, Texas and wondering if it's the right fit for you? There are a lot of great things about living in Aubrey, Texas, but don't get me wrong, there's also some bad things as well. So in this video, we're gonna talk about both the positives and negatives to living in Aubrey, Texas, so you can figure out once and for all if Aubrey might be a good fit for you or not. Now, Aubrey is located in the very north side of the Dallas Metro, about 48 miles north of downtown Dallas and only 12 miles north of downtown Denton. Aubrey is a more rural town than we typically cover on this channel and it's perfect for those looking to be away from all the hustle and bustle of suburb and typical city living. Aubrey has a population of 5,229 people and is located in Denton County. My name is Michael Carraway. I'm a realtor here in the Dallas, Texas Metro. And on this channel, we talk about what it's like to live in the Dallas, Texas Metro, as well as what the best places to live are so you can figure out what the perfect fit for you to call home here in the Dallas, Texas Metro is. All right, so first things first, let's talk about the pros of living in Aubrey, Texas. And the first pro that comes to mind is easily the cost of living. You're gonna find a little bit more of an affordable lifestyle in Aubrey, Texas. The median sales price has ranged anywhere from $390,000 up to $460,000 the past few months as of this recording. Now compare that with a lot of the other popular suburbs in the area, you'll see that this is quite a bit cheaper than what you can get in some of those places that are a little bit closer to Dallas. What's great about Aubrey is that there is a ton of inventory in that $300,000 range and even more if you're going to look into the budgets of getting up into like $500,000 or $700,000. What's really cool about that is that you know if you get into that range of five hundred dollars to $700,000, you are not just getting your typical starter home, you're getting really, really nice homes newer homes and really nice floor plans from new construction neighborhoods. Now to give you some context of what you can get at each price point, I wanted to pull up a few different price points and just show you a few homes. So first we're gonna look at the $300,000 range and the first one comes to mind is this $389,000 uh, home that listed in Aubrey, Texas. It's a great curb appeal, honestly, when you think of a $300,000 house, this looks much newer than what you get closer to Dallas, like I said before. Uh, so instantly you're seeing a little bit of an upgrade in the kind of home in this price range once you get to Aubrey. Now it's a great floor plan, newer finishes, and a more modern layout than what you'd find in an older home, uh, but just a great home honestly for the $300,000 range. All right, next we're gonna jump into the $500,000 range, and as you can see right from the get-go, again, a great curb appeal at $500,000 in a newer home. Now this one is really well done and that's what you're going to see when you get into that $500,000 price point is that you start seeing a little bit more higher end finishes, a little more modern finishes, and you get the little details like the wall right back here and you saw that office right from the get go, very modern looking office. So a beautiful home for $500,000 and this one is 2200 square foot. Uh, so this is actually a really good size home, four beds, three baths a really good value in Aubrey, Texas for $500,000. And the last price point I wanna talk about today is a $700,000 range. And trust me, you can get a lot higher than $700,000, but if you did have a budget you know, up to $700,000, there's a lot of great homes in that range. So as you can see right from the get-go, you get really modern finishes in a $700,000 home, uh, really well done, really uh, just honestly a modern layout, but the biggest difference that you're gonna see between the $500,000 range and the $700,000 range is going to be the size of the home. This home in particular is 3,000 square foot, still four beds, four baths, but you're just gonna have more space. And this one in particular is located in one of the more popular neighborhoods in Aubrey, which is Sam Brock Ranch, which we're gonna talk about a little bit more in depth here in a little bit. So your money definitely goes further in Aubrey, Texas compared to a place that's a little bit further south like Frisco or a place like Prosper, Allen, McKinney, all those places. You're gonna get a little bit more bang for your buck, a little bit more newer home uh, and a little bit more square footage for your dollar. That leads me to the second pro, which is that there are a lot of great new construction neighborhoods in Aubrey, Texas. Now, new construction neighborhoods, a lot of people love new construction neighborhoods because it feels really new. You have all the nice amenities around, everything looks beautiful, the homes are beautiful, and Aubrey is no exception. But as with most new construction communities, the con is that you're gonna have to get a little bit further out to find all these new developments. But a lot of people find that it's worth the extra commute to be able to get to some of those beautiful amenities, especially now with a lot of people working from home. That commute time is not necessarily as big of a deal. People can work from home, enjoy the community amenities that come along with a new construction community, 
and just enjoy life there. Like I said, there are a lot of new construction neighborhoods that are worth checking out in Aubrey. And if you want a full list, make sure to reach out to me. Contact information is in the description below. But two that we're gonna cover today are Silverado and Sam Brock Ranch. Now Silverado is a really cool community. It's your typical master plan community in the fact that you have a lot of amenities like a community center, you've got pools, you've got hiking trails, all that kind of stuff. But the one thing that really stands out about Silverado is that it is really, really beautiful land. Now the downside of building in Silverado is that you do only have one option for a builder and that's DR Horton. Now I've heard a lot of good things about them and have seen a lot of people be happy with them. Uh, their homes I've been through and they do seem to have a little bit more modern features in there. Uh, so overall, as you walk through the house, I think that you'll be impressed with uh, what DR Horton has done in that neighborhood. But the reality is you don't have a lot of options, so it's just something to uh, keep in mind if you're looking for new construction in Silverado. And the second neighborhood we're going to cover today is Sandbrock Ranch. As you drive into Sandbrock Ranch, you'll just notice there's a bunch of open fields. It's a really beautiful scene around there. Uh, you've got really nice amenities, a community pool, a lot of trails, you've got dog parks. You got kids playgrounds, just tons of amenities packed in there. And the nice thing about this community is you have a ton of different builders to be able to select from. So you get a huge variety of floor plans, different kinds of finishes, uh, different architectural styles, a lot of options in Sandrock Ranch. So definitely a community to check out if you're considering moving to Aubrey, Texas. Okay, so the third pro that a lot of people bring up about Aubrey, Texas is the school system. So if you have kids in Aubrey, Texas, there's actually two different school districts that they could possibly go to. The first is Denton ISD and the second is Aubrey ISD. Now Denton ISD is quite a bit bigger than Aubrey ISD. They have over 30,000 students in their school system, whereas Aubrey only has about 2,400. Now all in all, there are 14 preschools, seven elementary schools, three middle schools, and three high schools located in Aubrey, Texas. Now, honing into Denton ISD, according to greatschools.org, many of the schools in the district are rated average in school quality. 40% of schools within Denton ISD are rated average and 37% are above average. Now, moving over to Aubrey ISD, 50% of schools scored average and 25% scored above average. If you wanna read more about the schools, you can check out sites like greatschools.org or niche.com. You get a lot of more, more commentary from people that actually have kids in those school districts and can provide a little bit more insight on the schools. All right, the fourth pro of living in Aubrey, Texas is that you just get more land. It's more rural in Aubrey. You know, I was up in Aubrey the other day and driving around in Aubrey, it's just, you definitely get that more country feel out there. It's more rural. A lot of that development that's happening in the DFW Metro has not quite reached up to Aubrey. And so when you look at north of 380 up to Aubrey, it's just a lot of fields, a lot of farms. You get these new construction neighborhoods sprinkled in and around there. You've got downtown Aubrey there, uh, but there's just a lot of open land, uh, which a lot of people love and it's great for some people, uh, but it can also be a con for some people as well if you're not looking for that kind of living. So if you're looking to purchase a little bit more land, like you know one to 10 acres, then this is a great spot for you. Or you could even be looking at a more of a farm where you're getting 30 to 50 acres or more. So you have a lot of options for land in Aubrey, Texas. And even in the subdivisions, you tend to get a bigger lot than what you would get a little bit closer to Dallas. You know, quarter acre lots, half acre lots, one acre lots are a little bit more common as you get into Aubrey and some of those other communities that are a little bit more north of 380. So that's definitely a positive for a lot of people. All right, the fifth pro that I see a lot of people call out on websites like niche.com and one that I can honestly say I personally have experienced as well is the cute little downtown in Aubrey, Texas. Now this is one of those downtowns where you can literally drive through it in about five seconds it seems like so it's very very small and it's very very historic. Uh, the buildings are very old but they've done a really nice job of keeping them up to date uh, and there's definitely more modern businesses in there. There's a few places to eat. Everybody seems to love the restaurant that's called World Famous Moms. I've never been there, but it gets hyped up really, really big, big time on the internet. So check that out if you're in Aubrey. I need to check that out sometime soon. So it's not like you would spend a whole day there. Uh, it'd be more of like a you know quick trip to downtown Aubrey. They do some festivals and stuff there as well. Uh, but that's always a positive to have in a community to be able to have that little historic downtown to be able to go to. Okay, and the sixth pro of living in Aubrey, Texas, and one of my personal favorites about Aubrey is just the amount of outdoor activities that are in and around Aubrey. Like I said earlier, there's just way more land in Aubrey, Texas. Because there hasn't been a lot of development up that way, there's just more open spaces, 
more natural areas to be able to go and enjoy the outdoors than you get closer to the DFW Metro. So this is a huge plus. One of those places that you need to check out would be Clear Creek Natural Heritage Center, which is over 2,900 acres of bottomland hardwood forests, upland prairie, and diverse aquatic habitats. Another popular spot around Aubrey is Greenbelt Park, which is a 20 mile multi-use trail that meanders alongside the Elm Fork branch of the Trinity River. It runs from the Ray Roberts Dam up north all the way down south to Lake Louisville. So this is perfect for being able to hike, jog, ride a bike. You can even take horses on parts of the trail. So it's a really cool place to check out. Lake Ray Roberts is also a really common amenity up that way. It's a reservoir that's over 29,000 acres and it's located just a few miles north of Aubrey. And right next to Lake Ray Roberts is Ray Roberts Lake State Park. And in this state park, you'll be able to camp, hike, bike, ride your horse, rollerblade, geocache, backpack, go to the, the lake to kayak and boat and all of that kind of stuff. You can fish, all that stuff. So it's a really, really cool place to go check it out and a really popular place to go on the weekends. All right, so we've talked about the pros of living in Aubrey, Texas, and there's a lot of great ones to living in Aubrey, but there's also some cons that we need to talk about today just so you're aware before you decide if Aubrey is right for you. And that first con that we're gonna talk about today is crime. Now, according to niche.com, the crime rating in Aubrey, Texas is a C plus. So could be better, it could be worse. Now these crime rates were calculated annually per 100,000 residents. For violent crimes, you've seen 211 assaults, zero murders, zero rapes, and 28 robberies. So all well below the national average. And for property crimes, burglaries, you saw 423, thefts, 508, and motor vehicle theft, 94. So again, below the national average. But according to niche.com, you get a little bit more crime in Aubrey compared to some of the other suburbs in DFW. Right, the second con we're going to talk about today is the location and the commute from Aubrey. So I have the map pulled up and as you can see, Aubrey is located north of 380, which runs right around here. Now backing it up, just to give a little bit of context, downtown Dallas is way down here. Aubrey is way up here. So that is a big commute if you're looking to go from Aubrey to Dallas. In fact, let's just check out what it would say right now if we were to go from Aubrey to Dallas, Texas. You're driving nearly 50 miles and it's gonna take you about an hour and five minutes and that's at one o'clock here in the afternoon. Uh, so it's gonna be much longer if you're gonna be going to more towards uh, rush hour. And what I can say about this commute here from Aubrey to Dallas is a lot of your commute is gonna be spent right in this small little area right here. Now, the one thing you'll notice if you do decide to go visit Aubrey is that you don't have a lot of great uh, roads, honestly, that get to Aubrey. You don't have a lot of infrastructure there. There's no real good uh, convenient way to be able to get to Aubrey. So you're taking you know, single lane highways and there's a lot of construction there right now. So this little jaunt right here takes a while to be able to get over here because you're doing stop and go traffic uh, one way when there's a construction there, alternating traffic. So this little stretch right here can be a little rough. And then this, area, this road right here gets really backed up, especially in the morning and then at night during rush hours, just getting down into 380. And this first little stretch right here, again, gets bunched up. Once you make it down to Dallas North Tollway, then it's free sailing. It's, it never really gets too backed up on Dallas North Tollway. So you can get relatively quickly into the Frisco area, into McKinney, Plano, uh, over to Allen in a decent amount of time, but it's a stretch uh, anywhere you're looking to go. If you're looking to get into more Collin County um, or down into Dallas, it, it can be a little bit of a rough commute. Now, the other commute that you wanna consider if you're living in Aubrey, Texas, is how long it takes to get to Denton. As you can see on the map here, Denton is a lot closer to Aubrey than it is to Dallas. So this is potentially where you're gonna be spending a lot of your time, potentially where you could be working um, and going out to eat and all that kind of stuff. It could be one of your main hubs if you live in Aubrey. Now, as far as how long it takes to get from Aubrey to Denton, let's check out right now. Currently, it says it's about 12 miles away in 20 minutes. Um, and what I can say, the nice thing about going from Aubrey to Denton is that you get to avoid uh, this road right here, which is 370, Highway 377. Um, and this one also gets really bunched up. I've spent uh, it had to have been close to 30 minutes getting from Krugerville all the way down to Silverado right here just because of how much traffic was right there. Um, and what's really bad when you get up here is the Silverado commute down to 380 and especially if you're going to go right through this way, it just gets really bunched up. So avoid this section if at all possible. 
What's nice about this is you can go up through this road here and work your way down into Denton. And in 20 minutes, you're in downtown Denton, which has a ton of different things to do. It, it's really similar, honestly, to uh, downtown McKinney. If you see my video on downtown McKinney, um, it's, it's a really similar uh, vibe over there where you get that historic downtown, a lot of local restaurants, a lot of local shopping, cool place to just hang out on the weekend. Um, that's within 20 minutes of Aubrey. So you are not having to rely on Dallas if you live in Aubrey because you have Denton a little bit closer by. And the third con to living in Aubrey, Texas is that it is really rural and there's a lack of things to do. I've already kind of brought this up. Aubrey is rural and you're not gonna have a ton of amenities within the town of Aubrey or honestly anywhere really close. You're gonna have to drive 15 to 20 minutes to be able to get to the things that you're gonna wanna use all the time. There's obviously a few restaurants, a few gas stations, there's a few grocery stores that you can go to, but if you want to go to the more popular grocery stores that are a little more, bit more mainstream here in the Dallas, Texas Metro, you're gonna be driving 15 to 20 minutes to be able to get to that kind of stuff. And entertainment, you're realistically gonna be have, having to look at going to Denton, uh, historic downtown Denton, or somewhere around there to be able to go get your nicer restaurants and shopping and more things to do like that. So no matter where you are in the process, reach out. I'd love to help you find the right place to live here in the Dallas, Texas Metro. Shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email anytime. Seriously, I'm here to help you find the perfect place to call home here in the Dallas, Texas Metro. Until next time, I'll see you later.